Hey everyone, my name is Thomas and I've been an SAP consultant for over 25 years. Now if you're brand new to SAP, let me show you a few of the first steps in S4 HANA 2020. Now I just logged into our system right here. This is the very first screen that you see once you logged in. And I want to show you just a few things to get you comfortable with the interface. Notice that you have this menu tree here on the left and mine says SAP menu on top. Now, it's very important you pay attention to that. When you log into your system, it may say SAP menu, which is good, or it may say user menu. Right? If you're looking at the user menu, that means you're looking at a menu tree that was created for you by your system administrator with only the transactions that you have access to or should have access to might be okay but if you're learning and if you're curious always make sure you look at the SAP menu and you can get to it by clicking on this button right here SAP menu the one next to it is the user menu so let's click back on the SAP menu and now I'm back to the full menu tree with all of the options that are available now let's browse around a little bit so on top you see a menu that's always there no matter what transaction you're in there you will always see this top menu specifically the help menu and the system menu. The help menu obviously is useful because you can access SAP's help documentation through it or if your company has set it up you can also access your company's learning content from this menu. And The system menu is always there, always very useful. Um, you probably use it most because it also has the log off option right here. Another option when you click on this hamburger menu you can create a new GUI window. So this window that I'm in is called a GUI window. And right now I have one, but I can also create a second one. Do you notice what just happened? It actually created a second GUI window for me. So now I have two windows open. That can be useful if I create a document, for example, in one. Let's say I want to post a customer invoice in one GUI window, but I have to look something up for that customer. But I don't want to stop the invoice processing. So I create a second window so I can look up the customer in the other window. But for now, I'm going to close this window. You can also create a new GUI window from the system menu right here. New GUI window, close GUI window. Uh, then here in this bar, you have what's called the command field. So you can type in commands or what's called transaction codes in this field. And then you always have application dependent options right here. So these buttons will always change depending on what application or what transaction you're in. And then on the right, you have the search icon, the print icon, and the exit icon. Top right, you have something called the system information section or status bar uh, on top. When you click on this, you see a lot of technical information, what system you're in, what your user ID is, what client you're logged in, what application server you are. I don't know if that's all that useful. The one thing that is useful, I think, is the transaction. So if you click on this, it now will always show you what transaction you are currently in. That could be very useful. And at the very bottom, this gray bar here, there's nothing in it right now. That's the status bar. That's where you will see messages that the system sends you. So if you post a document and it gets posted successfully, it will say at the bottom. If there's an error, it will say at the bottom and so on. Now let's take a quick peek at this menu tree. Notice how it's organized by functional area. For example, accounting, logistics, human resources. And then you can open up these menus. And now you see the modules within the accounting section. The FI module, controlling, CO module, PS module, project system, and so on. Um, that's how you navigate through the SAP system, and I'll show you some more details in another video. Hope you liked it. Click like, please. And if you want to learn more about SAP, go visit our website, michaelmanagement.com. We have over 500 SAP courses for you.